Hi, welcome all. I'm Dr. D. Raj Lakshmi, Assistant Professor, Department of Mathematics, Sita Lakshmi Ramaswamy College. Let me tell you what are the magics of mathematics. Let me start the magic with the puzzle. Okay. My puzzle is, I started my journey from my home, traveling 12 kilometers per hour towards south. Then I turned towards west and traveled 5 kilometers per hour. Now a bird from my home wants to reach me. Then how many kilometers it has to travel to reach me? That's my puzzle. We can find the solution of this puzzle by using a famous theorem called Pythagoras theorem. We all know very well what is Pythagoras theorem is. That is a square plus b square is equal to c square. So I started my journey from the point A and I traveled 12 kilometers, uh, 12 kilometers towards south to reach the point B. From there, I turned towards west and I traveled five kilometers per hour. Now, a bird from my home wants to reach the point C, that is me, how many kilometers it has to travel. So it is 13 kilometers per hour. How we got this answer? So we know what is the Pythagoras theorem is. AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. That is 12 square, which is 144 plus five square 25, which is AC square is equal to 169, which means AC is equal to 13 kilometer. So a bird wants, a bird has to travel 13 kilometer to reach me. So we got the solution of this puzzle by using a famous theorem called Pythagoras theorem. From this, what we can understand is every concept of mathematics has application. Only thing is, if we are interested, we will learn all the things. Okay. So now let us see what are the applications of calculus in real life. Before seeing the application, let me tell you what are the types of calculus we have. Differentiation and integration. Differentiation is a very simple word. If you want to refer, it is decreasing. Integration means increasing. That is, crushing a stone to a sand is differentiation. And making a sand from making a stone from a sand is integration. Now let us see how mathematics is used in invest, investigation. That is to determine the time of death of a person. A detective came to a house at 11:32 a.m. where a murder had taken place. The detective measured the temperature of victim's body and found it was 27.7 degrees centigrade. And the room temperature is 22.22 degrees centigrade. After an hour, he again measured the temperature of the victim's body and found it was 26.8 degrees centigrade. Now we assume the room temperature is 37 degrees centigrade. Now let us calculate, see how to calculate the time of death of a person. For calculating the time of death, we need the help of Newton's law of cooling. What is Newton's law of cooling? The rate at which an object cools is proportional to the difference in temperature between the object and the objects surrounding. So based upon the Newton's law of cooling, we have written an equation, capital T of small t. Here capital T refers to temperature and small t refers to time. T of t is equal to T plus T naught minus T. This is the uh, temperature of the body. And T naught is room temperature into E power minus KT. Let the time of death be taken as X hours before the arrival of detective. Now, using the given equation, we will get the equation as T of X. Here, X refers to time of death. As I have taken the time of death before the arrival of detective as X, I am taking the equation as T of X is equal to uh, which I'm taking it as 27.7, which is equal to the value of T naught as 22, plus the value of T naught 37 minus T 22 into E power minus K X. And similarly, after an hour, I'm using the same equation and I'm substituting the value after an hour. So I have taken it as capital T of small x plus one. This one refers to after an hour, which is equal to 26.8 which is equal to 22, that is the value of Te, plus 37 minus 22 into E power minus K into X plus 1. Now, by solving the above two equations, we will get the value as 0 0.38 is equal to E power minus Kx, and 0 0.32 is equal to E power minus K into X plus 1. 
Now taking log on both sides, we will get log of 0.038 is equal to minus kx and log of 0.32 is equal to minus k into x plus 1. Now dividing the first equation by the second equation and by doing mathematical simplification, we will get approximately the value of x is equal to 7. Hence, we come to the conclusion that the murder took place 7 hours before the arrival of detector, which means it is exactly at 4.32 a.m. The murder might have taken place at the time 4.32 a.m. So, using the concept of differential equation and Newton's law, we found the time of death of a person. The next thing what you are going to see is role of mathematics in COVID. What is the role of mathematics which is played in COVID? Mathematics play a vital role in the battle to stop the epidemic. If we want to predict how the disease will spread and when it will stop, we can use mathematical models to predict how an epidemic will develop and also how it will stop. Mathematics use models based on a simple set of equations which were developed in the early 1920s called the SIR equation. Here S refers to suspectable and I refers to infectious, R refers to recovery. The basic idea is that population is divided into three categories. The first category consists of people who never got the disease before and who are suspectable. The second category consists of people who have got the disease and are infectious. The third category consists of people who cannot catch the disease again. Either they have recovered or died. The SAR model predicts how people will move between the categories and what proportion will finally get the disease. That can be calculated using the concept of SAR model. The SAR equations are a group of differential equation. Again, we are using a differential equation, which models what will happen over time. ds by dt, which means a rate of change of suspectable with respect to time is equal to minus beta into si. Here, beta refers to rate of infection. And di by ds, which means rate of change of infection with respect to time is equal to beta into si minus lambda. Here, lambda refers to rate of recovery. Then dr by dt, that is rate of change of recovery with respect to time, which is equal to lambda i. As I told you, beta is the rate of infection and lambda is the rate of recovery. And there is also a special number called r naught, which is called as basic reproductive ratio. So, depends upon the value of R0, we can decide whether the disease will stop or it will spread. R0 is defined as being the average number of new cases resulting from an infected individual. So, mathematicians have shown that if the value of R0 is greater than 1, the disease will continue to spread. If the value of R0 is less than 1, then it will stop to spread. So from SAR model, we can predict not only COVID, but any disease, whether it will spread or it will not spread. Thank you. Thank you for your patience listening. Thank you very much.